similar to the sidebar, um, but instead of a block list, it's like a, a group list. So it just adds a new item. And so this docs thing, everything needs a label. So you give it a label. Um, you can decide if it's what type of link it is. Um, if it is a document link, it will give you this document field. If it's a blog link, it just links to the blog. Uh, an external link gives you this URL field. So you can see this kind of conditional fields thing going on. Um, I could even do docs as uh, a drop down um, with you know sub some item, sub items uh, that link to specific documents and so on. Um, this kind of nesting is only supported so deep, um, as well as the sidebar nesting. Like on the sidebar, you can see, uh, you know, I have this Tina item. This Tina item supports items, um, and you know, I could add uh, another sub item to that. And I could add another sub item to that, uh, but at some point you run into, at some point you run into, you know, the lowest category where you can only add links. There's no more <laughs> subcategories. I'm sure DocuSource would go on forever. Um, but yeah, the way I've set up, up the configuration, I think there's like three or four layers of nesting. Um, I see that conditional form again whenever you. Yeah. So global, in yeah. So let's say I want to add a, a link here. Um, new link. It'll just so be another are, That's a cut. These are custom components, are they? The uh, yeah. So mm -hmm. I can show how I'm doing that um, real quick. Um, nav bar item. Right. So uh, the nav bar fields contain this like link thing that you know you select what type of link it is, and then say the docs link. I am just passing like our standard reference field. Like I'm not customizing the field at all. Um, but basically I'm looking at all the form data, finding that link. If the link isn't do like doc, just return null. So don't return a form component at all. Uh, and then I'm doing that with this one over here. Um, you know, I haven't refactored this code or like this split reduce thing is, you know, I'm sure there's like a better way to do this, but uh, it works. And then you can see like the nesting happens just like yeah. <laughs> it's kind of messy yeah. um but you know i have to find things once and then i just use them a bunch of times to produce like manual nesting um and it all yeah seems that to makes work. sense yeah this looks great scott this is awesome this is awesome thanks yeah, yeah the conditional fields is interesting um and how do the rest of you guys feel, feel about Scott's solution? Is it something we could, I guess I'm wondering, is it something we could document and share with our users? Because we could ask that from time to time. Yeah. It's, I think it's that's something that, I was going to Oh, I was going to say, I think it's the best solution with the current tools that we give our users. Yeah. Yeah, we can definitely help them much more um, yeah. than we are. We Would basically be... say the form values or you can pop off the values off of this this object here and you can do what you need to do. Um, yeah, we get we, we get don't... asked about conditional fields a lot. I wonder, can you go to the schema real quick, Scott? Yep. What if you had like, and just go to one of your conditional fields. What if instead of like component, what if you there was like a property called like show um, that or there's a function that you can just like say, <clears throat> and we like give this property called show the other form values. And you it would just be like show and it would be like values. And you would just say like, if values dot link equals this return yeah, exactly. true else return false. Like that would be, that would be perfect. Well, don't we have What's a hidden one? What's that? Is that just a bullet? Isn't, don't we have a hidden property? <clears throat> yeah, we have a hidden property. Is, uh, is that just a bullet? Cause we could, we could either Except yeah, we can just we make that a function. function. Yeah, hidden would be. Um, but even that, e even that's not super easy because um, if your if your object is nested deeply, then the value won't be predictable. So like um, the form value for that scenario is not is not just values dot link. It's in the yeah. same hierarchy that I'm in, the link field next to me. So like we there, but that's a really that's probably one we could lean into and say, well, we know exactly where this form is. So get all siblings, or you know, some, like sort of like form lookup properties that that we don't give you, but we easily could. 
um, would be would be something we could do for sure. And like yeah, field itself could challenge. have some properties on it. I don't think it'd be yeah. very hard. It's just stuff we don't do at all. Mm -hmm. Like because yeah, you I have think... access to the field here, and it's like field get siblings, super easy. It could it, it just we just don't know what patterns are common. And like this example and microgen both are probably um, things we should look at for inspiration for that. Um, and then there's also like the this thing that's sort of jumping out to me is like it would be nice to be able to use an object field in a lot of these scenarios and not have to step through it and to have that object be just on the page you know like um i don't know if there's a good example here but like maybe that global one was i don't know sometimes i find when you're when you're working with an object maybe i don't know um you would just rather see you'd rather it be an object but you want them all on the same panel you know um yeah i know what you mean so I don't think I follow. Up. That's okay. Like, I guess items, maybe if items wasn't an array, but like you might just want to edit whatever that, like, yeah. So, like, click into one of those. Like, you might want these properties. Oh, that's a bad example because it's an array. Yeah. But <laughs> um, you might want object properties to be, to, to not require you to click into them to edit. You know, they might just want to all be part of the same panel. Like not that a new form. I, I know. Yeah. That makes sense. Um, anyway, it's just some having, having some better composition patterns for, for like what people probably want to do when they're customizing would be nice. Yeah. Also, definitely I find, or I feel the need to, uh, 